I'm going to show you how to use some awesome AI tooling built right into the Superbase stack to create a semantic search app with zero external dependencies. You can run the entire thing just on localhost. Let's get into it. So here I have the Superbase AI inference example running on localhost. I'll leave a link to that one in the description so you can quickly get up to this point. So this has a table for embeddings with a column for our content and then the vector representation of that content. Embeddings are a way to represent something like text or an image as a sequence of numbers that we can then perform mathematical operations on to determine their similarity. This works incredibly well for semantic search where people might be using different terms to search for the same thing. So we can insert a new row to create an embedding. Let's make the content laptop and click save to insert that new row. Now it looks like we just have the content column populated with the value laptop, but this has actually kicked off an asynchronous request to generate this embedding. So if we were to refresh, we can see that column has been automatically populated. So this table has a trigger that calls an edge function anytime a new row is inserted or updated in the embeddings table. And that edge function looks something like this. So we create a Superbase client and then an AI model using superbase.ai.session and specifying the model GTE small. So previously, this would download the entire AI model and take a very long time with your edge function running and kind of just waiting. Now we have this model stored on disk and automatically available to all of your edge functions. So there's no additional download or cold start cost you just use it. So now that we have our model, we're serving our function, which pulls the content and ID for that newly created record. We then pass that content along to our model to create that embedding and then update the embedding column from the embeddings table for our new row that's just been created. So that generates a new embedding or vector how do we actually perform the search bit? So that's another edge function at slash search. This creates a Superbase client and a model using GTE small. It then takes the search term out of the request and uses our model to create its embedding and then uses Superbase to make a remote procedure call or execute the Postgres function called query underscore embeddings, passing across that embedding for our search term and the threshold for what we want to consider a match. And if we look at that function, it looks a little intimidating, but really it's just returning us a new set of embeddings. So basically any of the rows in the embeddings table that match this query. So this does some math stuff to work out inner products and normalized cosine similarity. I know AI things, but basically this function returns all of the rows that match that embedding up to that particular threshold. So in our search, we're just selecting the content column and limiting it to the top three rows. And that's what we return from our edge function. So we can send a HTTP request with something like curl, but I'm going to use the Thunder client extension so I can do this directly from VS Code. So if we search for something like vehicles and click send, we'll see that car, boat and track train are the closest matches for vehicles. If we did something like fruit and click send, we can see banana, apple, and the very controversial tomato. And if we did something like computer, then we would hope to see that new record we added earlier for laptop. And we also see desk and mouse. So all those computery things. And again, this entire thing is running just on localhost. So other than the cost of running your computer, it's entirely free. If you host those edge functions with Superbase, then you don't pay for all of the time spent downloading those AI models because they're right there on disk. If you want to go deeper with Superbase AI, I recommend you check out this video right here. It's a super dense crash course on all things AI and shows how to build a retrieval augmented generation system with Superbase and PG Vector. It's pretty rad. Wait, no, it's pretty rag. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.